In this video, we're going to take a look at something that is called a weighted average. When calculating a weighted average, we must realize that values that occur more often will have a larger impact on the average, or on the mean. So we must account for this when we calculate the total. To calculate the total, we must multiply the frequency of a value by the value itself. Let's take a look at some examples where we have to do just that. A survey here has been administered to several students to see how many siblings they have. We want to calculate the average number of siblings of the responders. Well, we don't want to simply just average the siblings, 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and divide by 5, because you see that a lot more people had one or two siblings than all the rest of the data values. So what we will do is we will multiply the frequency, the 8 responses, by the number of siblings to get 0 for the first row. One sibling times the 38 people who have that gives you a total of 38 siblings. Two siblings times the 21 people who had two siblings gives us 42 total siblings. Three times the 15 people who have three siblings gives us 45. And finally, four times two gives us eight. So to calculate the total number of siblings, we must add these new values we just found. 38 plus 42 plus 45 plus 8 is 133. We also need to divide by the total number of values we were working with, and that was all the submissions we got, or how many siblings are there total. Again, the 133 is the t total number or the sum, and when we add 0 plus 1, oops, nope. How many responses did we get total? That's a different column altogether. How many responses we want to divide by how many there are? That's 8 plus 38 plus 21 plus 15 plus 2, which gives us a total of 84 is the number w of responses we're working with. To calculate the mean, then, we take the sum, when they're added all together, 133, divide by the number of responses, which is 84, and using our calculator, we find the average number of siblings in this survey was about 1.58 siblings. Another type of weighted average that students interact with quite frequently is a GPA. The credits in a GPA are actually the frequency of the amount of time you're in the course. In other words, in this English class, this student earned a 3.2 for each of the four credits. So how many points did he actually earn? To find that, we multiply the grade by the credits. 4 times 3.2 is 12.8 points earned in English. 5 times his 4.0 gives a 20.0 for math points. History, 3 times 2.8 gives us 8.4. PE, 1 times 0.7 gives us 0.7. When we add these all together, we'll get our sum of how many points this student has earned this quarter. Add them all up, and we'll get 41.9 for the number of points this student earned. We need to divide by how many there were, how many entries were made into it, how many credits did we take. 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1 is 13. That's the number of credits he signed up for. To get his GPA, sh I should call this the sum and the number probably would be better. To get his GPA, then, we take the sum of 41.9, and we divide by the number of credits he signed up for, and we'll get his weighted average, grade point average, for the number of credits he enrolled in. Per credit, he's earning 3.22 points.